We're back in Florence, PT Uomo 105 street style. Let's go. I'm here with Thierry Muel. I'm from Paris. Did you have a smooth trip to Florence? Yeah, it was nice. Florence is better than Paris. <laughs> snow in Paris. Oh, snow in Paris. Yeah. Well, then you uh, escaped the cold. Ah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, are you in the fashion business? Yeah, absolutely. I'm a brand ambassador, firstly, and uh, I do consulting for movies in Paris. Uh, classical um, male uh, outfits, these kind of things, yeah. Can you walk us through your outfit? Who are you wearing? What are you wearing? Um, today uh, I have this amazing Irish tweed, you know, uh, directly coming from um, England, but made by a guy we call Confident, Atelier in Paris. So. Uh, we want to change, so he do the outfit with the same with the coat. Mm -hmm. It's um, uh, we tell that it could be more original. Yeah, the hat is um, one of my uh, favorite um, hat maker called Anthony Peto. Anthony Peto is one of uh, the fabulous um, hat makers in Paris. He made hats for uh, I call it made hat for artists, and uh, he's uh, in. Um, uh, lapin, how do you say beaver? Yeah, beaver, yeah. Yeah, beaver with my, my <laughs> nice. petite plume, uh, voilà. Very artistic. And the, the, the tie is Silvio Fiorello. Silvio Fiorello in uh, Sicilia. Mm -hmm. Silvio Fiorello. Um, yeah, I, I, I choose this one because it match very well with the outfit. I love that you have a boutonniere. Yeah, my boutonniere is one of my friends. Uh, she made some uh, a special uh, details like this boutonniere make with a, a vintage collection of ties. Mm -hmm. Each each ties she can make like uh, just free, so it's always unique. Uh, my shoes, um, I don't know the the name, but uh, every every year I come in Mica Milano to discover new uh, shoes makers. And I meet a guy who uh, do these shoes for me, and it put a patina like a, a Berluti, you mm -hmm. know. And um, I think with this outfit, it, it's a good idea. And then finally, maybe your shirt, because you have those really big spear point collar yeah, yeah, and, uh, and yeah. a tap, right? Yeah, uh, uh, it's made by a tailor called, um, I f the name, I forgot the name and I, I, I choose this one because it's very particular, you know, it's very long. It's very yes. long. Uh, 1930. Okay. Yeah, it, it, it's come for 93 and 0. Yeah. Thank you very much. See you next nice year. Nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you. Grazie mille. A bientôt. Again with my man Damien Broderick. Yes. How are you? I'm smashing, mate. Life's great. You don't live in Italy anymore, right? No, back to Dublin, which is similar weather <laughs> than what we're having right now. But not too wet. No, it's dry here, which is good. It's lashing rain in Dublin, so 
All right. I'm, how, I'm doing okay. How's the how's the podcast going? The podcast is going really well. Um, yeah, we talk about dating. Everybody thinks that me and Natalie are dating, but we're not. We're just friends. But the podcast is going great. Yeah, it's fun. All right, right. Hey, I see your your pockets are full. Your yeah, <laughs> my pockets are actually full. I have gloves in this one. I have a silk scarf that my Karina, is for Karina. I'm being a gentleman and carrying her things for her. All right, all right. Uh, phone. Yeah, pockets are full. All right, can you walk us through your outfit? Yeah, so I have a double monk strap loafer on. Uh, these are a cream chino, which is a little bit cold for a chino, but we're, we're suffering. Um, this is just a classic navy double-breasted blazer with the gold buttons, a vintage tie, Brooks Brothers uh, button-down shirt, and uh, a Puro Ego camel overcoat. It's got our normal rings, and then we've got an ellipse on the wrist, and then TBD eyewear uh, glasses. All right. Cool. Well, thank you. Have a great pity. My pleasure. <laughs>I'm here with uh, the founder of the Gentleman's Gazette, the infamous Raphael Schneider. Indeed, hello Niklas. <laughs> <laughs> nice to finally meet you in person. Exactly, yeah, it has been a while. We, I think we first talked during COVID. Yeah, yeah, it, I think it was a video call. Yes. And um, I think it's so funny always here at Pity meeting the people in person you just know from YouTube or Instagram and so on. So it's really great to, to meet you in person finally. Likewise. Cool. How was your trip here? You didn't come from the US. Right? No, no, no. I actually, I came from the Zillertal. Ah. From uh, I was uh, skiing and snowboarding with my family because they still live in in Europe. Yeah. So that's why I, I came in from today. Awesome. How is the Gentleman's Gazette going? The business and Amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, we have wonderful people, such as Jack, for example, right? But uh, it's it's interesting, you know. It's changing. Mm -hmm. We started as a content business, and I think. Um, with the introduction of AI, it's super interesting to see how content-only businesses will change. Maybe you know we'll have a hashtag human-made. Maybe people care about that. Yeah, interesting. Maybe not. So, I think it's exciting times. You know, we're we're experimenting with things, but we're also focusing much more on products now. Yeah. Because AI, you know, cannot make a leather wallet. At least not yet. True. So, that's kind of. I would say maybe a focus shift for us. But, uh, well, you know, we love content, we love original stuff, mm -hmm. so we just keep doing that too. And you're here at Pity to, I don't know, get some inspiration for products well, I content? Well, I wanted to meet you. <laughs> I wanted to meet, you know, other creators, other Instagrammers, influencers, maybe, you know, just feeling the vibe, seeing the people, and then we'll also visit some vendors. You know, people we work with together. I mean, Florence, there's so much around here. Santa Croce, the leather, you know. There's, so it's fun. I hadn't been here in maybe six, seven years. Okay. So it's nice to be here again. Also, Jack, right? Yeah. Like, meeting your team. And I was here anyways. So it's like, okay, it's just an add-on trip. Great. Why so not? it's not your first pity, right? No, no. I've been, like, several years ago. I don't know, four times, five times, something like that. All right. Can you walk us through your outfit? What are you wearing? Who are you wearing? Okay, yes. So I'm wearing, I think the shirt is from Eton mm -hmm. of Sweden. Kind of a pale purple. The um, vest, I think it's a, a vintage one. It's kind of a mole skin with like gold buttons. Um, then this scarf is ours. It's like a Ford Belvedere. The tie is vintage. I just liked it because of the large medallion. Um, this jacket is vintage too. It was basically... I uh, chose it because of the back, because yeah. I wanted the pleats Next for back, photography yeah. and, and videography, awesome. just being flexible. Um, the pants are our like Stancliffe corduroys. Mm -hmm. They're quite heavy, and I wanted this kind of bold sky blue color. Um, socks for Belvedere, um, brown and blue, and then the shoes are from Amara Hawk Weber. She's a shoemaker in St. Paul, Minnesota, okay. which is highly unusual. <laughs> and so she's currently making another pair. Um, like a his and hers loafer, mm -hmm. but uh, yeah, supporting local crafts. Awesome, well, thank you. Uh, have a great pity. I think uh, we'll bump into each other uh, a couple more times here, but yeah. Auf jeden Fall. Sehr gut. <laughs>